for the first time in its 70-year history. The amazing beauty pageant will be held in Israel at the sunny resort of Eilat. Millions of pageant fans from around the world will witness the most awaited and greatest spectacle that is Miss Universe. Shalom! Hello everyone and welcome to Crown Sisters. In today's episode, I give you our Miss Universe 2021 Top 21 Second Leaderboard. But before we begin, please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Singing a bear, I can see you watching. Now, let's get started. Up first, the first Miss Universe candidate in this edition Vietnam's Mu Yen Kim Du Yen. Dubbed as an early favorite and one of the most popular candidates from Vietnam, her pageant armies will march forward once again to give her the highest number of online votes, giving her spots in the semi-finals that she deserves. Up next we have Mexico, Deborah Halal, runner-up to our reigning Miss Universe, Andrea Mesa, at Mexican Universal 2020. I think she has a great potential to make it to the finals, but just like Gassini in 2019, she too has a pretty face. But I'm afraid I don't see a back-to-back -back finish this year. At number 19, Panama, Brenda Smith. The second Mexican beauty queen in this edition, she competed at Mexicana Universal 2020 where she placed second runner-up, a journalist, activist, and lecturer. People might say Deborah is more beautiful, but that's relative. Besides, Brenda is definitely a better speaker. Panama has the advantage of being trained by Lu Sierra. So, with her training, combined with hard work and experience, she will surely place well this year. On the 18th spot, we have Namibia, Chelsea Shikongo. Namibia comes from the heritage of two Namibian tribes and is giving us the Zozibini vibes. I understand that getting compared to the former Miss Universe is tough, but she's a queen in her own rights. After their latest stint in Supra, I'm expecting a strong finish from Namibia. At number 17, Portugal, Orisha Dominguez. Born and raised in Venezuela, but as a family of Portuguese origin, she has citizenship and the right to represent Portugal in Miss Universe. Trained and competed in Miss Venezuela 2018, where she placed second runner-up, she is arriving with form and experience, so expect to see her in the top 21. Up next, we have, at number 16, Albania, Ina Daci. She is the Albanian Angelina Jolie, who travels around the world giving speeches about the environmental impact of the fast fashion industry, which is now the second largest polluter in the world. A stunning beauty with exceptional achievements, I expect Albania to at least reach the first cut. At number 15, Bahamas, Chantal O'Brien. From world to universe, she is a motivational speaker, model, and entrepreneur. She's a pageant veteran with a super silky passarella. With her experience, confidence, and strength, this small island girl will stand out on the Miss Universe stage this year. Next up, we have Costa Rica, Valeria Rees. After Yvonne Serda's strong performance, here's another stunning candidate from Costa Rica. The 28-year-old model and law student spoke about her personal struggles with anorexia, which prompted her to create a foundation that seeks to help other people suffering from eating disorders. As well as being a great spokeswoman, she looks amazing on stage, so I can ask for more. Pura Vida! Costa Rica At number 13, Paraguay, Nadja Ferreira 
Apart from being one of the strongest contestants Paraguay has ever sent, she is also one of the most exciting and talk about candidates this year. She's a top model and beauty pageant title holder who has appeared in Fashion Week, shot multiple advertising campaigns, graced runways all over the world, and appeared on covers of major magazines. The big question is, will she take the first universal crown for Paraguay? Up next, we have Japan, Juri Watanabe. Japan is sending another hot blood this year. Born to a Japanese father and South Korean mother, Japan is clearly taking strides to increase unity and reduce its historical negative view towards interracial relationships. Although I've had concerns about her overall styling, Japan is crowning material with excellent communication skills. Just outside our top 10, we have Venezuela, Luisette Materan. The gorgeous Materan has got a lot to prove and God knows she's had a lot of time to prepare. People say she's too rehearsed, but all I see is a complete package. She's stunning, graceful, and eloquent, and she's the vixen who can bring Venezuela back into the game. Now, here are our top 10 favorites, starting with Bolivia, Nahemi Joaquin. Probably the most controversial Bolivian beauty queen for the way she looks and especially the way she thinks. However, her passerella is perfection. Her beauty is captivating and for such a young age, she's emotionally and mentally matured. I love her classic hourglass figure and I love her beautiful square, wide shoulders that carry gowns so well. Her stature and facial structure are perfect. She's a cross between Stephanie Del Valle and Brooke Lee. She's a natural speaker who speaks her mind and from the heart. Bolivia looks beautiful and powerful on stage and she shouldn't be taken for granted regardless of her potentially controversial views. Up next, we have Curacao, Shariangela Senche. Curacao has had an accomplished professional career after earning her law degree, but it's her strong stage presence and eloquence that puts her in my top 10. She certainly has what it takes to get a back-to-back semi-final placement for Curacao and maybe even grab the first Miss Universe victory. Joining our leaderboard is the strongest candidate from the African region, South Africa, Lalela Mistwane. At a star-studded finale that included who's who of beauty queens, South Africa crowned the challenger for the Miss Universe crown. She is captivating, intelligent, and confident. Her communication skills are always on point. The Rainbow Nation is known for their preparation, and this year, South Africa expects to get noticed. Up next, we have Thailand and Chile Scott Chemis. This time, they are sending someone who doesn't crack under pressure. Although her passerella isn't as strong as other girls, her real size beauty exudes elegance and knows how to deliver a speech. In Thai folklore, odd numbers are considered luckier than even numbers. So, after 33 years, this could be the year for Thailand. Next up, we have the Philippines, Beatriz Luigi Gomez. She's the silent killer and the master of game planning. She doesn't speak a lot, but when she opens her mouth, you know you have a winner. She is the pride of the marginalized community. And as an openly LGBT advocate with visible tattoos, she gave us all a few firsts in the Philippine pageantry. Can she add to her country's growing collection of crowns? I can't wait to be surprised. Moving into my top five, India. 
after two decades, the sleeping powerhouse is back with a surprise winner, Harna Asandu. India has so much riding on her shoulders, but she's a Bollywood beauty who knows how to perform on stage. At this moment, India is neck and neck with the powerhouse countries Thailand and the Philippines. After Adeline's strong performance last year, India is coming for blood this year. At number 4, Spain, Sara Loinas. It's no surprise she snagged the title during her national finals. The Spanish Moroccan beauty is naturally stunning and just like Pia Wurzbach, shows incredible transformations through the magic of makeup. The 23-year-old professional model and fashion entrepreneur looks amazing in every ensemble and thus claims the number four spot on our leaderboard. In the third spot, we have Belgium, Cadiz del Tour. It's not every day I put Europe in my top five, let alone two in my list. This girl is somewhat special. Belgium has a genuine story to tell, and she will inspire every boy and girl who didn't have a good start in life. Belgium isn't here for that reason alone. As much as I love a bit of drama, the girl will have to compete on the international stage. Belgium has had the time to prepare, and having trained in the U.S. with Christelle Stewart, I'm expecting a Miss Academy standout performance. Right now, Belgium looks stunning in motion, and she's the strongest from Europe. Our number two spot goes to Colombia, Valeria Ayos. One of the strongest candidates from the Americas, it's refreshing to see another dark-skinned representative from Colombia, the last one being Andrea Tovar in 2016. From her stunning beauty, genuine personality, and communication skills, Valerie is my second favorite Miss Colombia since Carolina Gomez in 1994. The last year's almost Miss Universe Colombia won the hearts of many Filipino people when she competed during the Miss Earth 2018. And I expect the pageant Crazy Nation will support her in the finale. And finally, our number one spot goes to Puerto Rico, Michelle Colon. For a powerhouse country not winning a crown for 20 years, it's a long time. So this time, the island nation is sending its first ever Afro-Latina representative. Puerto Rico is the total package. The proud African-Caribbean Puerto Rican beauty queen has a serene beauty and extreme confidence. I love her melanin skin. Toned physique, and at 183 centimeters, Puerto Rico is so far the tallest candidate this year. The Glamazon Queen has a powerful stage presence, but maintains a relaxed glamour that really works on stage. But the big question is can she win the sixth Miss Universe crown for Puerto Rico? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Who amongst these girls is your favorite to win the Miss Universe 2021 crown? If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And always remember, every skin color is absolutely beautiful.